Imagine being an asymptomatic carrier of a deadly disease and unwittingly spreading it to others. That's precisely what Mary Mallon, famously known as Typhoid Mary, did in the early 20th century. Mallon, who worked as a cook, unknowingly transmitted typhoid fever to numerous people through her cooking. Her story is mind-blowing, not only for its medical significance, but also for its cultural context, highlighting the challenges of public health and infectious disease control during her time. In 1854, London faced an unparalleled cholera outbreak that puzzled medical experts. Dr. John Snow, a physician, used meticulous detective work to trace the source of the outbreak back to a single water pump on Broad Street. His groundbreaking discovery, often considered the birth of epidemiology, highlighted the role of contaminated water in spreading cholera. Dr. Snow's work not only saved lives, but also revolutionized our understanding of disease transmission, leaving a lasting impact on public health practices. In 1976, a mind-blowing outbreak of Legionnaire's disease occurred in Philadelphia during an American Legion convention. The source of the outbreak? The hotel's air conditioning system, which harbored Legionella bacteria. This incident was one of the first documented cases of a disease spreading through aerosolized water droplets. It marked a turning point in our awareness of the role of building systems in disease transmission, leading to improved regulations and standards for air quality and water treatment. In the 1980s, a dentist named David Acer unwittingly became a vector for the spread of HIV in the United States. Acer, who had AIDS, infected several of his patients during dental procedures. This unique case underscored the potential for healthcare settings to facilitate disease transmission and led to significant changes in infection control practices. It also highlighted the importance of regular health screenings for healthcare workers to prevent similar incidents. In 1976, an unparalleled public health campaign unfolded in response to an outbreak of a new strain of H1N1 influenza, often referred to as swine flu. The U.S. government initiated a mass vaccination program, vaccinating millions of Americans. However, the expected pandemic never materialized, and the vaccination campaign was marred by concerns of side effects. This episode serves as a cautionary tale about the challenges of predicting and responding to viral outbreaks and the importance of balancing public health measures. The development of COVID-19 vaccines in record time was an unparalleled achievement in the field of medicine. The rapid progress from identifying the virus to producing safe and effective vaccines marked a historic milestone. This extraordinary feat showcased the power of global collaboration scientific innovation, and cutting-edge technology in responding to viral outbreaks. The COVID-19 vaccine story serves as a testament to human resilience and the relentless pursuit of solutions during a global crisis. In the summer of 1518, a mind-blowing and seemingly inexplicable phenomenon struck the town of Strasbourg, France, an outbreak of dancing. Over 400 people began dancing uncontrollably for days, and some danced themselves to exhaustion or even death. This bizarre episode, often referred to as the Dancing Plague, left historians puzzled for centuries. While it is unclear what caused this unparalleled event, it sheds light on the peculiar and mysterious ways in which mass hysteria and psychological factors can play a role in outbreaks. Lyme disease, a tick-borne illness, has an unparalleled origin story tied to a group of children in Lyme, Connecticut, who experienced mysterious symptoms in the 1970s. Their illness eventually led to the discovery of the bacterium Borrelia burgdorferi and its connection to tick bites. This revelation transformed our understanding of vector-borne diseases and highlighted the importance of early diagnosis and treatment. The story of Lyme disease serves as a reminder of the intricate relationship between humans, nature, and the emergence of new diseases. During the Spanish-American War in 1898, yellow fever posed a significant threat to American troops in Cuba. To combat the disease, U.S. Army Major Walter Reed led a groundbreaking investigation that identified the mosquito Aedes aegypti as the vector responsible for transmitting yellow fever. Surprisingly, a cook named Clara Mass voluntarily participated in experiments that proved the mosquito's role. Her unparalleled dedication to science and public health helped revolutionize our understanding of disease transmission. 
Kuru, a rare and mind-blowing neurodegenerative disease, emerged among the four people of Papua New Guinea. What made Kuru unique was its transmission through cannibalistic rituals. The disease was eventually linked to the consumption of infected human brains. This unusual case not only expanded our knowledge of prion diseases, but also raised cultural and ethical questions about the practices of the four people and the consequences of cultural traditions on public health. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these incredible facts, remember to like this video and subscribe to Psy Pulsar for more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious and see you soon.